All right, y'all, welcome back to PR here, man. I'm just kind of sitting out in the middle of the lake trying to do a show, and the fish are just kind of shut down on me this afternoon, but I want to introduce this show. I kind of go out and just find some brush, and I catch some good fish, man. I really do. Y'all fix see them. Then tuck them to the house, uh, cleaned them up, and mom's going to eat them today here at the 4th of July. So, and happy 4th to everybody. Look, y'all, be safe. Be safe. I've done found life jackets in the water, jet uh, skis. I don't found skis in the water. So, um, man, y'all be careful when you're you're riding around and put your life jacket on. You know, if you're running, um, that speaks wonders. You know, um, pictures real quick. Oh yeah, custom, custom Corley custom rods. I can't say enough about the, the crappy poles. I've just, uh, man, I've just caught some good fish on. Corley's rod, Smith Pro baits. I told you they're in Rock Outdoors, uh, another little place up in Blues Creek Sportsman's Outdoors or something like that. Um, and, and of course, you can go to the website. You can call Greg. You can call Greg too. I'll leave his number below as well. So uh, either way, you know, Corey Sage pictures. Corey Sage out in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Corey just killing them. Some bass and crappy peanut. Peanuts back in here. Peanut's got a little channel now, believe it or not. Peanut, peanut. What's it called? Muzzle loader, muzzle loader, muzzle loader something. I forgot, Peanut. I'm sorry. Check him out, y'all. Peanut there. Um, Devon's cooler full of catfish. Good eating size catfish, Devon. Good there. And then Mike Bryant down there in Texas, man. Just catch us some slabs. Uh, it's just Mike. Congrats, man. I know they eat good, so. Let's get to the show. I'm out on brush. I'll show you a little bit. We catch plenty. Let me comment. Let me comment. All right, so we just jumped, dumped, old school. She's having a little issue too. I think she's gonna have to go up D&E. &E. I think I've lost the power pack, but we'll run her. See what happens. Old boat wrap. Let's see if we can catch a slap. Y'all, the first brush pile pulled up on I flipped twice, three times, and catch this slab up. Look at the slab right off the bat. Oh, God, look at that eater, y'all. Look. look at the tail. Beautiful fish. Uh oh. 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 Uh o
Yes, there he is, y'all. Sunshine in his mouth. Look, another. Oh. Good stuff. Would you just look at the size of him? Let's see if I can get him in the boat. Great big old fish. God. All right, y'all. So I've had a couple people ask me how to thread the old pot belly tadpole looking grubs. I'm using the sunshine and I just come up through the back. I just thread it in there. You want it to keep it straight. That way it don't twirl as it falls. But you go across his back Push him up on the head. Try to keep it straight as possible. I see it sits like this. Where his pot belly's pointing down, just like a minnow would, and your hook comes out of his back. Cool. Then after you got her all rigged up and ready to go, just take your little can of sweet bites. Just spray on there. My leg was kind of wore off, but boys, they're on top of it. Another small guy. small guy. We'll let him go. Alright y'all, so let me show you this brush. There it is. You can see it's what I've been catching those good fish on since 15 foot. The wind blowing so I gotta keep you can see it. Several small ones there. Again, this is down imaging and then regular 2D sonar. You see me coming off the front side of it there. There's the water temp 83 right there. You see me falling off of it. Good stuff. So I don't know if I said this while ago or not, but we had a front, front come through, dropped some rain last night. The water's come up a little bit, it looks like north wind so and the fish are biting funny they're very light biting um well, the temperature 83 and i'm fishing about 15 17 foot of water there's a 
little one. I just call it a great big one. But there's a little one. Another baby. Sunshine again. Let him go. Maybe he's back to me. He's back, I'm telling you. There's three back to back to back, just crazy. But they these babies. Just the babies. deep of water. The babies is up there in that 10, 11 foot. First of all, covered up with them too. Little babies pulled up spiny. Gotta be careful with them. Gotta be careful with um touch better. He's a touch better. But he's still that's one of them RPF keepers right there though. Let's see what he does. He does like this right here. Just a baby though. Let him go. It's a thick little fish too. Look how they feeding up. There's another one. Now I'll tell y'all, you can find some brush offshore in that 15 foot of water or a little deeper. Fish are just stacked on it. There's another one. Alright, so we're gonna have to call it a morning, man. I, this traffic's starting to get crazy. I got up late and I slept in this morning. But this fish, man, you just gotta go find them. I mean, they own that brush hard, so. 83 degree water temperature. I'm using a five pound test line. Corley custom rods. I'm using my six footer, just throwing up to the brush. Um, Sunline and my little diver reel. Again, Smith Pro Baits. That's the sunshine there. We got a little crappy meat on there from the jaws, but 16th ounce jig here. So 
old ma's calling me. She's got chores for me. I got two hours out here. I don't know, I'll probably call 50 babies. I got four good keepers, let's look at them. We'll take you to grandmama. That's a fresh tail. That's a fresh fillets, that's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, there it was. You know, I'm back out today doing some brush, trying to get enough, the next show going. Hadn't done a whole lot. Caught one or two good ones. Um, I'll show you real quick here. And that's the show after this one, okay? Got neighbors wanting fish, so we're going to try to catch some more in a little while as well. Hey. Y'all leave me a comment, hit that thumbs up for me, and thank y'all. I can't thank y'all enough. I appreciate everything, and, and as always, you know, we're going to get on to the next. Grash!